Hi everyone. I'm Heather Vanna with Avnet, and I'm here at the Life is Beautiful Music Festival in Las Vegas, Nevada, with two pretty influential people. This is CEO of Not Impossible Labs, Mick Ebling. It's a technology incubator dedicated to creating technology for the sake of humanity. And this is Kevin Sellers, the CMO of Avnet, a technology solutions company who helps people like Mick get their ideas from product to market through our ecosystem of technology resources for developers of all kinds. And we're here at a really exciting live beta activation of some technology that we've partnered together to create. Mick, can you tell us about the Music Not Impossible product that we're debuting today? Sure. First, can I compliment you on your sweet van shoes? Thanks. Pan down on the shoes. Pan down on the shoes. Sweet vans. Uh, yeah, so today we're, we're having the first proper large-scale activation of Music Not Impossible, which is a piece of technology that we created that allows to have an equal experience of music for whether you can or can't hear. So it basically has taken the concept of music, the theory of music, the art of music, and it projects it wirelessly to different parts of your body, wristbands, ankle bands, and kind of a vest harness type of thing, where the different parts of music are then vibrated specifically through little actuators on the skin. So it replicates what the eardrums do in terms of receiving vibration and sending a signal to the brain. We're now doing that on the skin. So today we're doing it. We're doing it with an incredible band. Uh, there's a, the, ba the people who are attending, about a mm, third of them will be deaf, two thirds not and nobody knows who the band is, and no one really knows what they're getting themselves into, so it's gonna be a pretty awesome event. I'm pretty stoked. So, Avna, uh, Nick, can you tell us what it was like to partner with Avnet on this technology? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, the for us, there's lots of incredible companies out there, um, and for us to be able to find incredible people at an incredible company is what made the partnership, I think, so spectacular. Um, we're really good at prototyping and coming up with just crazy ideas that we're able to get up to a certain point. And Avnet, especially with this activation, has proven that to take it from here to here is just what they do so well. So it's been a really incredible partnership. Thanks. So Kevin, tell us a little bit about Avnet's process when we help companies like Mix bring their products to life. Well, I think this is a great example of a company that um, has an amazing idea, but getting that idea actually into a product into the market is one of the biggest hurdles that any innovative innovation company really goes through. And that's something that um, in, in our business model, something we specialize in, is really helping them refine that product idea, get it so that it's manufacturable in high volume, and then help them scale that into the marketplace. And that's where not Impossible's team had gone to. They'd proven out that this is amazing technology, that it definitely works. But now how do you get it from, you know, a prototype in the lab into something that can now become mass market? And of course tonight is our first chance of hearing the music, which is not the music, <laughs> uh, of really doing it on a larger scale in a, in a, in a private venue. So it's, it's, um, it really is technology aimed at making people's lives better and really creating unity in a way that you just can't do any other way. Yeah, it's a truly amazing product. I really can't wait to see everything happen tonight. Um, so, Kevin, this isn't the first time that we've worked with Not Impossible Labs, and obviously they're a very special company. Um, what is it that makes this partnership great? Well, it kind of is the first time we've worked. It's not the first time I personally have worked with them, but it, I, I think the partnership is one where, um, you know, Mick talks a lot about their, their process about helping one, helping many. And what I think makes it so unique is they have become so great at figuring out how do you create technology that really can solve that big problem, a big problem. Oftentimes it's maybe not even being addressed, right? And they solve it for one person and they figure out, does this technology actually work? What Adnet does really well is we're a company that takes ideas to scale. So this notion of help one, help many is we're experts in helping many. They've proven to be experts in helping one. And so it was kind of like a glove, right? There was no sort of positioning and jockeying. It was like, hey, you do it, you do, we do, we do. And it just kind of comes together really naturally. So that's what made this so fluidly. I mean, we operated without a contract for months because we didn't really feel like we needed one. We just like, we knew what you're doing. Well, here's how we're going to help. And they're like, awesome. And, and we just were back and forth. And then you know, we finally got around to signing a contract it was just kind of a formality versus anything, you know, material. So yeah, it really speaks a lot to trust. And, and I said it earlier, I think companies are made by human beings. And the more we, we 
We love working with passionate individuals and humans who who want to try to make the world a better place. And I think that's kind of the fun we've had with Avnet so far. So Mick, how does it feel to have that help one, help many mission really coming to life tonight? Look at I I feel I feel really weird today. I feel I feel like you know a little bit like I felt on my wedding day, a little bit on when I when my first kid was born. Um, I wrote the story of a band performing and having the deaf and hearing community together in a venue. I wrote I literally wrote that story out about five years ago, four years ago. And it's happening almost verbatim tonight. And so it feels very surreal. Like, I, I definitely feel like I'm walking a little bit like, like a, an, an inch off the ground right now. So it's pretty awesome. You're, to me, you're walking like a whole foot off the ground. I think we have to get me a soapbox for the next time we interview together, right. don't you guys think? <laughs> so but from both of your perspectives, what's next for the Avnet and Non Impossible partnership after tonight? I know you probably can. Domination. <laughs> All right. I'll just say, I mean, the good news is there's no shortage of great ideas in the pipeline that Not Impossible has, and, and, you know, and they're going to constantly need that partner that's going to help them get that thing to market as fast as they can, as cheap as they can, and as, as broadly as they can, and, and that's really why there's so many great things um, that, that are going to come. So tonight is really just, this isn't really a graduation ceremony. This is kind of, we feel like we're just getting in the batter's box in the first inning, but the game's real now, right? We're, we're sort of moving out of the lab, and it's now real life, and it's been fun watching Mick and his team because you can kind of see in them this graduation that's happening for their business. It's now moving into, you know, we're, we're, we're moving into big. We're moving into scale. We're moving into global, and it's, it's really a fun thing to watch. Um, and there's no question in our minds they're going to be incredibly successful and make a huge difference in the world. And, you know, we just want to be there uh, with them the whole way. So, Mick, final question for you. Do you have any words of encouragement who, for creators who are like you were four or five years ago when you were writing that story about tonight? You mean four years ago when I was scared and clueless? Uh, exactly. Yeah. That scared and clueless isn't a bad place to be. And I, and I, I say that not facetiously. Um, I think if you have an idea and you're scared and you don't know how to do it or you think you have an idea or you think you have a solution but it doesn't work and then you got to try again and like if it's something that you truly truly believe in the only way you'll ever find out if it's going to work is if you never give up. And so this is one of those things that we just never gave up on it and we ran into I mean I don't even think roadblocks fully encapsulates all the different things that we and struggles that we had to go through to get to this point. But um, I think if you believe in what you're doing and you truly think, and for us, that we truly think it's going to make a difference in the world, then that's what kind of keeps you up late and gets you up early. You know, I would just add one thing. I think for anybody that's trying to, to do something like this and go to market, I think the real value isn't so much in the idea that Mick and his team had. It was in the attitude and the process they deployed because there was a, they never... Failure was not failure to them. Failure was just something didn't work. I mean, they've got videos of demos happening in the lab, and they catch on fire.